Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about clonable interface in Java. The clonable interface indicates that a class allows a bitwise copy of an object to be made. For example, there is a book class and I'm implementing clonable interface. That means we are allowing or indicating the class allows a bitwise copy. So you can create a clone object for this book and there will be a method called clone and if you don't implement this you will be getting a clone not supported exception so you have to call super dot clone so this method is mandatory in your class okay so you have to implement the clonable interface and you have to have this method object cloning is a way to create exact copy of an object say for example you have a book object okay now you want that you want the exact copy of this object for that purpose you can use this clonable interface and the clone method Clonable interface must be implemented by the class whose object clone we wish to create. So in this example, I want to create clone object of the class book. If you do not implement clonable interface, clone method generates the clone not supported exception. So I have written a very simple code to explain how exactly we can clone an object. So I'm creating an object. Okay. Here I am writing book, I have a book object and I am setting the author name and the book name and the book ID. Now this line is very very important, line number 26 is very important because here we are doing the cloning. So this method will be called and exact copy will, will happen. Okay. So now let me run this program in the debug mode and show you how exactly it works. So here we have created the book object and now we are looking for the exact copy of it using the clonable interface we are implementing it so super dot clone method is called and we are going to get a, the exact copy of this object so we got the exact copy this is the uh, purpose of clonable interface in java to get the exact copy of a of an object hope this video is useful thank you and all the best